Hello ka Walmart, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin yung part 2 ng graphing transformation of exponential function. So our focus is to represent a transformation of an exponential function through its table, graphs, and equation at the same time, graph transformation of exponential function. Given the graph of f of x is equal to a times b raised to x minus c plus d, The vertical shift is D, unit up. So, if D is greater than 0, so your, uh, the graph is moving upward. And if D is less than 0, your graph is uh, shifted downward. Okay? The horizontal shift is C to the right of C. Is If C is greater than 0, okay? So, kapag ito ay greater than 0, So the graph shifted to the right and if the if the value of c is less than 0 the graph shifted to uh, the left So vertical shift the graph of y is equal to b raised to x minus d shift the graph of y is equal to b raised to x d units downward So how to get the y intercept of b Uh, y is equal to b raised to x minus d. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 1 minus d. Next, the graph of y is equal to b raised to x plus d shifts the graph of y is equal to b raised to x d units upward. So, the y-intercept of y is equal to b raised to x minus d is 1 plus d. Okay, for example, use the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x To sketch the graph of function y is equal to 2 raised to x minus 3 and y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1. Okay, again, using the table of values, uh, you can assign any values of x and then uh, by using negative 3 to positive 3, substitute all the values of x sa tatlong function natin. O kaya, yung diniscuss ko sa part 1 na pwedeng gumamit ng GeoGebra para ma-generate mo na agad yung sagot nito. Okay, so after getting the table of values, so ipla-plot natin. So ipla-plot natin sa graph natin. So yung green line natin, that is the y is equal to 2 raised to x, kung saan siya yung base function natin. So siya yung base function natin, dyan natin kinocompare yung graph ng 2 raised to x minus 3 and 2 raised to x plus 1. Okay, so yung blue line natin, ito yon, that is 2 raised to x minus 3. Uh, so, ano yung na-observe nyo from the base function? So, ito yung base function natin. So, the graph shifted at uh, ilang unit? 1, okay. 1, 2, 3, downward. Okay, kasi because of this. Kung dito kayo titingin sa constant na to, so, kung ano, kung ito ay negative, of course, pa down yung move ng graph nyo. And then, yung y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1. So, ito yung red line na yan. So, from the baseline, ito yung baseline natin, yung green. Okay, so nag-move siya upward ng 1 unit. So, mula dito, nag-move upward 1 unit. Okay, you can use, so sabi ko nga sa inyo, pwede kayo gumamit ng GeoGebra. Okay. So, paano ulit gamitin yung GeoGebra na yan? Okay, so... Ngayon natin. Again, y is equal to... So, kung nahihirapan kayo i-type yung raise, kasi may nagtatanong, Sir, paano yung raise na yan? y is equal to 2. Ito, click nyo to. Aha, uh -huh, wala ay ito, ito. So, ito yung i-click-click nyo para mag-exponent. So, palitan nyo na lang ng x. Okay? So, palitan nyo ng x. And then, uh, lagay nyo lang yung table of values. Click nyo ulit to. Lagay yung table of values. So, yung inassign ko ay from negative 3 to positive 3. Okay? So, pag nag-okay yan, makikita nyo na yung plotted points ng... Uh, y is equal to 2 raised to x. So, lita natin. Para makita nyo. 
Next, balik tayo, pindutin lang to. I-graph naman natin yung y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 3. Okay, so plus 3. Ano, ah, that's minus 3 pala. Minus 3 yung sa given natin. Minus 3. Then, lagay natin yung table of values natin. So, ito yon. Sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, without using calculator, kung mag-direct kayo sa GeoGebra, ibibigay na agad sa inyo ang sagot ng Y values nyo. Okay, ito yung sagot, oh. Okay, so ito yung orange na yan. That is Y is equal to 2 raised to X minus 3. And then, balik ulit tayo. Tapos yung isang graph pa natin. Y is equal to 2 raised to X plus 1. Okay, so ito naman yung... And then, lagyan natin ng table of values from negative to 3 to positive 3. Okay? So, this is the graph of the uh, given function. So, balik tayo. So, pwede nyo ito i-download din yung GeoGebra Graphing Calculator sa cellphone nyo. Para kahit offline, pwede nyo ma-check yung graph at yung table of values. Pwede nyo ma-generate doon. Okay, so, again... Uh, ano kayo yung mga properties ng uh, given function natin? So, the domain of all graphs is the set of all real numbers. So, pwede na lang na i-represent yung sagot nyo ng ganito. Negative infinity to positive infinity. Then, the range of y is equal to 2x minus 3 is negative 3 from negative 3 to positive infinity. Bakit mula sa negative 3? So, dahil yung negative 3, hindi dapat kasama. Okay, yan o. Oh. Ito yung graph natin na yan. Yung 2x minus 3. Ito yung blue. So, yung range natin dyan, mula sa negative 3 to positive infinity. And then, yung range natin sa y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1 is... Okay na, ito naman, simula kay 1. Oh no, 1 is not included. So, from 1 to positive infinity. So, kung ano yung nandito, yung constant dyan... So, para hindi kayo mahirapan sa pagkuha ng range kapag ganito ang given na function. So, kung ano yung constant dito, so, dyan yung pagbabasihan yung range nyo. Of course, uh, alam naman natin yung range ng y is equal to 2 raised to x is the set of uh, positive real numbers. The y-intercept of 2 raised to x is 1. Tapos, yung y-intercept naman ng 2 raised to x minus 3 is negative 2. So, again, paano natin kinukuha yon so, kapag ito ay naging 0, 2 raised to 0 is 1. So, 1, 1 na to ang value nito, minus 3, that is negative 2. Dito naman, so magiging 1 ulit to 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. And using the horizontal asymptote, so, uh, the horizontal asymptote of y is equal to 2 raised to x is y is equal to 0. So, dito naman, diba, kung ano yung restricted dun sa range natin, kung ano yung restricted dun sa range natin, or kaning start, no? Saan ang ba, pinaka boundary ng ano natin, ng graph natin? So the horizontal asymptote of y is equal to 2 raised to x minus 3 is y is equal to negative 3. So hanggan lang hanggan diyan lang siya. So yung graph natin approaches dun sa x is equal to negative 3. Next is I know y is equal to negative 3. And then yung Horizontal asymptote natin sa y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1 ay y is equal to 1. So, ito, ito. So, yung red line natin, yung graph natin sa y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1 is approaches sa y is equal to 1. Okay. Next is the horizontal shift. So, paano ginagawa to? So, the graph of y is equal to bx minus c shift the graph of y is equal to vx, c units to the right. So, kapag uh, ang graph natin, y is equal to vx minus c, so the graph is uh, moving to the right. Okay, next is, and how to get the y-intercept? That is 1 over b raised to c. Okay, next, the graph of y is equal to b raised to x plus c, shifts the graph of y is equal to b raised to x, c units to the left. So, kapag uh, x plus c naman dito nakita nyo, ang graph naman natin mag-move mag uh, going to the left. Okay, so the y-intercept of y is equal to b 
raised to x minus c is b raised to c. Okay, let's try. Use the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x to sketch the graph of the function. y is equal to 2x minus 2 and y is equal to 2 raised to uh, y is equal to 2 raised to x minus 2 and y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 4. Okay, again, using the table of values, so pwede nyo yan i-generate using the GeoGebra or using your calculator, pwede nyo naman yan i-compute using your calculator. So, after getting the table of values, so after getting the table of values, so ang inassign ko dito from negative 3 to positive 3, ipaplot natin sa uh, Cartesian plane natin. So, yung green line, again, that is the base function na y is equal to 2 raised to x. And then yung blue line, that is y equals to 2 raised to x minus 2. And then yung red line natin, that is the uh, graph of y is equal to x plus 4. Okay, so paano natin makukuha yan? Okay, using the GeoGebra, pwede nyo yan kunin. No? You can type, type nyo lang to, itatype nyo lang itong mga function na to, and then uh, ibibigay nyo na rin to ang table of values din sa GeoGebra. So, what are the properties of this graph? So, ano ba yung napansin natin? Sabi class, so, kapag ito ay x minus 2, so negative yung c natin, saan papunta yung graph natin? Magmove siya ng ilang unit to the, to the right. So, magmove siya ng dalawa. So, ito yung graph natin. So, this is the graph. Kung ito yan class, okay, Kung ito yung base function natin, so mag-move siya ng 2 units to the, uh, ano to? Yes, to the right. So, 1, 2. Okay? Pag ito naman, so 2 raised to x plus 4. Okay, kung ito naman yung, ano natin, by x plus c, so mag-move siya ng, uh, mag-move yung graph natin to the left. So, ilang units yan? 4. So, kung ito yung baseline natin, 1, 2. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, yan yung movement niya. So, kung kanina, kapag dito tayo tumitingin, yung constant dito, up and down naman yon. Pero kapag nandito sa exponent class, so, left and right naman. Okay? So, next. So, what are the properties? The domain of all graphs is the set of all real numbers. So, laging set of all real numbers yung domain ng function natin, the range uh, ng exponential function. The range of all graphs is the set of positive real numbers. So, so sa yung tatlong graph natin, yung range niya is set of all positive real numbers. Okay? Next is, uh, the y-intercept of y is equal to raised to x is 1. Ito naman, the y-intercept of 2 raised to x minus 2 is. So, ano ba yung b natin? So, kapag ganito, ganito ang gagamitin nyo. Okay? You can use this formula. So, 1 over B, tapos ito ay C. 1 over B, so 1 half raised to 2. So, yung C natin ay 2. So, that is 1 fourth or 0 0.25. Pero kapag plus naman, so that is 2 squared is equal to 4. So, yan pagkuha ng y-intercept. Bakit naging... 2 na lang yung exponent natin. Kasi pag, di ba ginagawa natin 0 to? So, 0 plus 2, that is 2. Okay. Next. The horizontal asymptote of all graphs is y is equal to 0. Okay? <coughs> it's quiz time. So, you can post this video or you can uh, uh, answer it na pwede nyong i-post yung video. So, ano yung mga dapat nyong sagutan given the two function? Use transformation to describe how the graph is related to an exponential function, y is equal to b raised to x. Sketch the graph. Identify the domain, range, y-intercept, and horizontal asymptote. Okay, so once na may sagot na kayo, you can play the video. So here's the answer for number 1. So yan yung sagot sa number 1. By the way, yung ano natin dyan, uh, ano yung base function natin dito. Ang base function natin dito ay y is equal to 3 raised to x. Itong green. Okay. y is equal to 3 raised to x. I know, no. The, uh, ano pala? The blue one. The blue one. That is our uh, base function. And then, for number 2, so, ano yung base function natin dito? 
So, yung base function natin dito is yung red. Okay? So, yung red yung base function natin dyan. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.